That means that it's very massive, at least a thousand times more massive than the previous one, which was a comet, Borisov, uh, di discovered in 2019. Uh, not only that it's so massive, uh, much more than the previous one. What if the biggest visitor to our solar system isn't just a rock? Meet 3i Atlas, an interstellar object so huge it could rival Manhattan in size, or even dwarf it. Scientists estimate its mass could be over 33 billion tons, making it thousands of times heavier than anything we've ever seen from beyond the stars. But here's where the mystery deepens. Three competing hypotheses fight to explain what this thing really is. Is 3i Atlas a natural comet, born from icy fragments in a distant star system? Could it be a planet-making seed? A cosmic catalyst designed to jumpstart new worlds? Or is it something far stranger, perhaps even a technological artifact of alien design? And the story isn't over. In the coming months and years, telescopes and spacecraft across the solar system, Hubble, James Webb, Mars orbiters, even NASA's Juno near Jupiter, will track 3i Atlas, gathering unprecedented data before it disappears forever into interstellar space. This is not just science, it's a detective story on a cosmic scale. The question is, what will we discover? As researchers turn their attention to the mysterious 3i Atlas, one of the most captivating questions centered on its true size. Determining the scale of its nucleus could reveal how much material it carries. Information that holds profound implications for our understanding of how planets and star systems may form across the galaxy. Yet, unraveling that secret is far from simple. The comet's blazing, sprawling coma, an envelope of reflective dust and gas, creates the illusion of a far larger core than what truly exists. Even so, with the aid of high-resolution imaging from Hubble and Earth-based observatories, astronomers managed to narrow its possible dimensions to somewhere between 0.32 and 5.6 kilometers. Earlier projections had placed it at a massive 10 to 20 kilometers, but those figures are now believed to be exaggerated, distorted by the overwhelming glow of the coma itself. So, the question lingers in the cosmic silence. Just how immense is this traveler from beyond the stars? Recently, Harvard astrophysicist Avi Loeb, who has long been fascinated by 3i Atlas and has raised the possibility of its non-artificial nature, revealed new findings. The results were startling. 3i Atlas could be far larger than anyone had imagined, possibly even surpassing the size of Manhattan Island. In diameter, you know, it, it may be up to 46 kilometers in diameter based on uh, other data, could be larger than Manhattan Island. Five kilometers is about half the size of Manhattan Island. Loeb and his colleague studied how much material was evaporating from the object's sunlit surface in order to determine the level of thrust it should receive from that evaporation. Typically, comets like 3i Atlas, with active outgassing, experience a gentle push from escaping gas jets. Yet, in this case, there was no sign of such movement. So based on all the data that was collected between the 15th of May and uh, the 23rd of September, there is no uh, indication that the object is being pushed away from the sun. This suggested that the nucleus of 3i Atlas was so massive that it could resist being nudged by those forces. Supporting this conclusion, nearly 4,000 observations from 227 observatories across the globe revealed virtually no deviation from its gravitational orbit a strong indication of an extremely heavy core. Based on this, Loeb's team estimated a minimum mass of 33 billion tons for the object. And in his view, that figure represents only the lower bound. The true mass must be even greater for it to remain unaffected by its own outgassing. To put that into perspective, 33 billion tons is no trivial weight. It makes 3i Atlas at least 10 times more massive than the interstellar object detected before it, and possibly 50 times larger than the first known interstellar visitor, Oumuamua. When compared to those earlier discoveries, 
3i Atlas could be between 1,000 and 100,000 times more massive, not even counting the surrounding coma. By converting the 33 billion tons of mass into solid density, Avi Loeb arrived at a striking result. 3i Atlas must measure more than 5 kilometers across. To put that into perspective, 5 kilometers is about half the size of Manhattan Island. But this is only the lower limit, the minimum it could be. Other data suggest it might span as much as 46 kilometers in diameter, nearly five times larger than Manhattan itself. While its true size remains uncertain, what's clear is that, at the very least, 3i Atlas could be 100,000 times more massive than Oumuamua, which measured barely a tenth of a kilometer. Determining the scale of 3i Atlas has become especially critical after a rare and dramatic event in late September, during a phase when the sun was waking up and growing increasingly active in its cycle. NASA's predictive models indicated that on September 25th, 3i Atlas would cross paths with a coronal mass ejection, CME, a colossal burst of plasma and magnetic fields hurled from the sun. For scientists, this was an unprecedented opportunity to witness how such a violent solar storm might affect an interstellar visitor. Data from the encounter are now under careful study, sparking the question. How much did the CME alter 3i Atlas? Calculations of its minimum mass suggest that the comet's dense, heavy nucleus likely withstood the blast without significant change to its orbit or internal structure. Instead, the impact would have been confined to its more delicate outer regions, the coma and tail. This unusual combination of immense size and staggering mass stirs unease more than wonder. What if 3i Atlas isn't just a random hunk of cosmic rock drifting through space, but rather the creation of an advanced alien civilization? Uh, because it will uh, be untenable to produce such a giant rock that arrives to our neighborhood <clears throat> over the past decade. We expect it to arrive maybe once every uh, several millennia or a ten tenths of millennia. And the fact that we saw it over the past decade is really surprising. Avi Loeb argues that, given the abundance of heavy elements in interstellar space, astronomers should have already discovered countless smaller interstellar objects on the order of 100,000 for every rare giant like 3i Atlas. This expectation comes directly from models of planetary system formation, which predict that small fragments should vastly outnumber massive bodies expelled into the void. The detection of such a colossal object without the accompanying swarm of smaller ones introduces a glaring statistical puzzle. Loeb further notes that the amount of raw material in interstellar space capable of producing such oversized bodies is extremely limited. That scarcity makes the appearance of 3i Atlas all the more baffling, especially when set against the rarity of smaller interstellar visitors such as Oumuamua. This mismatch forces scientists to question whether 3i Atlas is truly natural or something engineered. At present, three leading hypotheses attempt to explain the origin and nature of this enigmatic traveler. First and foremost, the dominant perspective is that 3i Atlas is most likely a natural object. Images reveal it to be active, with a solid icy core encased in a glowing coma of gas and dust, features typical of ordinary comets. Its interstellar origin is confirmed by its extraordinary velocity and trajectory which does not bind it to the sun like native comets, but instead carries it on a single flyby through our system. Its behavior also mirrors that of familiar comets, brightening as it approaches the sun and releasing gases. While oddities like its unusual tail and shifting colors remain puzzling, the scientific consensus still leans toward it being a natural comet rather than an artificial construct or alien probe. Building on the natural explanation, astrophysicist Suzanne Fnair has put forward a different idea known as the purpose hypothesis. She suggests that interstellar objects like 3i Atlas may function as planet-making seeds in the formation of young star systems. When a newborn star emerges, 
It is surrounded by a disk of gas and dust, where planets begin to take shape. Dust grains clumping into rocks, then into ever larger bodies. The challenge, however, is that this process is painfully slow, and the disks themselves dissipate before giant planets can fully form. F. Nair proposes that interstellar objects, already sizable and solid, could fall into these young disks, acting as ready-made seeds that jumpstart planetary growth. This would drastically accelerate planet formation and help resolve the timing problem that plagues existing theories. Computer models support this notion, showing that larger stars are more likely to capture such interstellar bodies, consistent with observations that massive stars tend to host more gas giants. In essence, Fener's purpose. Hypothesis reimagines interstellar wanderers not as mere cosmic debris, but as vital building blocks. Messengers that carry the potential to sculpt new worlds. Though still in its early stages, this hypothesis opens an exciting path for research into the hidden role of interstellar objects in shaping planetary systems. Yet the physical measurements of 3i Atlas stand in stark contrast to what one would expect from a natural comet, especially its unusually massive core. On top of that, Avi Loeb highlights four more striking anomalies that challenge the natural hypothesis. First, the object displays an anti-tail that appears to extend from its head rather than trailing behind. In normal comets, solar radiation pressure pushes dust particles away from the sun, forming a tail that always points outward. An anti-tail, by contrast, points toward the sun, an extremely rare and puzzling feature. While comet specialists argue that 3i Atlas must be a comet simply because it has a tail, they largely dismiss this anomaly, leaving a troubling gap in the explanation. Loeb likens it to imagining a cat with its tail sprouting from its forehead instead of its back. Second, 3i Atlas's orbit lies neatly within the plane of the planets around the Sun. The odds of such alignment happening by chance are just 1 in 500. To Loeb, this precise positioning could suggest an orbit that is fine-tuned to ensure close planetary encounters. Third, the object emits nickel without iron, an extraordinary signature. In nature, nickel and iron typically occur together. The only context in which nickel appears isolated is in human industrial processes, such as the production of nickel alloys. Fourth, the polarization of three. I Atlas's light is unlike anything seen in a comet or asteroid before. Normally, when sunlight reflects off a comet's dust, the waves become polarized in a predictable way, forming distinct fingerprints. But 3i Atlas exhibits an unusually strong negative polarization, with light vibrating in a direction scientists rarely encounter. This suggests its dust and ice may consist of exotic materials, unlike those found in ordinary solar system comets. Taking these anomalies together, Loeb assigns 3i Atlas a rank of 4 on his Loeb scale, where 0 represents a wholly natural object and 10 denotes an unmistakably technological one that could threaten humanity. With this mid-level rating, Loeb warns that objects like 3i Atlas may represent not just mysteries of astrophysics but potential existential risks, interstellar visitors whose true nature we can't yet dismiss.